This next story, one of those ultimate 9-11 survivor stories. 20 years ago, Will Gemeno was a rookie Port Authority cop who volunteered for an impossible mission, rescue civilians from the burning towers. Yeah, he was only one of a handful of people pulled from the rubble, what he called the mouth of hell. Ever since, he has dedicated his life to a different cause, helping others deal with trauma. Here's Alameda News reporter Nina Pineda. September 11th lives with me every single day. Uh, it never goes away for those of us that were there that day, uh, survived that day. On September 11, 2001, William Menno was a rookie Port Authority police officer who helped evacuate the South Tower. He was in a shopping mall below when the building collapsed, leaving Will and two of his colleagues pinned under 20 feet of rubble. And I asked God for two things at that moment. I said, let me be there to see the birth of my daughter, because again, my wife was seven months pregnant, and I just hated the fact that I wasn't going to be there. And the second, and I, sound, I know it sounds silly, but I said, God, when I get to heaven, can I have a glass of water? The Navy veteran was pulled from the pile hours after the towers fell. 20 years later, the scars still show a leg brace and this quarter sized divot left behind by a rebar that pinned him. They're daily reminders of the injuries that ended his police career. I tell people 20 years later, one of the things that I learned that night is to never give up. You fight till the end. To this day, Yemeno still battles post-traumatic stress disorder. He keeps shelves of mementos from that day, including a cross and a mini twin towers fashioned from steel from the building. His remarkable story told in the 2006 Oliver Stone film, World Trade Center. And now he's written two books, one for children about coping with trauma. Proud to have been an immigrant, my pride for the United States and of course the World Trade Center. Will is grateful every day he survived to watch both his daughters grow up, dedicating his life to use his story to inspire others. The way I can honor those we lost, honor those that were injured, uh, is to live a fruitful life. You know, to be an example to others that, you know, uh, September 11th did not destroy us. Nina Pineda, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.